Hi Dries and Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a burrito inspired by Squishmallows. So let's get started. To draw this very yummy burrito, let's first start by drawing a big curve for the top. So I'm going to come right here and I'm just going to draw a big curve across. And if you're using a pencil, go ahead and go all the way across. But because I'm using a Sharpie and I don't want to erase, I'm going to stop about right here before I finish and draw some of these strands um, for the cheese. So I'm going to come down, go across, and just bring this in. So I just want to um, put in all the cheese strands right here. And come in, and maybe do one more here. Come in, and one last one going the other way. There. So just added some cheese and then from there we're going to come back to this area right here and just round it off and come straight down. So do the same thing here. Just use this as your guide. So say about right here. Just round it off and come down. From there let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit more. So let's just go straight down and same thing here. So this is kind of like the s'mores uh, squishmallow. It's just a little bit more straighter, rectangular-ish. So about right there, now that we're about the same level, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to a curve. So this is going to be the beginning of the foil wrapper. So about right there. Then let's come back right here and we're going to pop this out as if we're drawing like a little skirt and pop it out and then we're just going to go across with these curves all the way across. There. And so just notice it's much lower here at the bottom and then in the center I mean that goes right back up. Then from there let's continue this burrito. So I'm just going to come out a little bit more just slightly wider but straighter and then we're just going to come in. So same thing here, straighter, and then come in, then go ahead and just connect it at the bottom with a curve. There. So we have the bottom part, now let's draw the top. So in this area right here where we started, I'm going to come out with a slight curve, and this is going to be the lettuce. So I'm going to come in. And just wobble my way across. And see about right here, I'll just tuck it in to finish it off. Now that looking at my camera right here, I'm just going to add another strand of cheese just to fill in this uh, space. Then maybe just add one more cheese right here. And then in this area, I'm going to fill it. So come right here, I'm just going to add a curve right over the top to fill this area and um, maybe about right here I'll just go ahead and draw a curve so we can um, color in different colors like maybe some meat or tomatoes whatever you want to put in your burrito. Okay so then from there let's finally bring this to life and make it extra cute. So I'll come about right here and draw a big circle. There's some draw so cute eyes and same thing about right here. And so let's come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So I really hope you've been loving all these cute food squishmallows I've been drawing for you and coloring. For you lately. They're just so cute and simple and a little bit easier to draw so I hope you've really been enjoying them and they've been inspiring you. There so I have the eyes in. I'm going to come above each eye. Just draw a soft curve and then let's give this uh, burrito here a cute little smile. So I'm going to come right here in the center. Curve and then I'm going to wrap it around with a little tongue because I love burritos. <laughs> there. 
Yum, right? So, oh, and last but not least, let's add a heart right here to make it my draw so cute burrito inspired by squishmallows and so now i'm going to come in here and just color it with some of your basic crayola markers but for the wrapper part right here the burrito skin i'm going to be using color pencils because i feel like i need some texture and color pencils to just be a little bit easier to get the right color and the texture So they're all done. I really hope you love how this burrito turned out and that I helped you draw and color it. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.